Давай. Yeah, we spoke of uh, two small remedies, right? The first remedy we spoke was uh, LMCPA. Any quick patients in LMCPA? And uh, after LMCPA, we started a small remedy. Drussel. Okay. Hope Drussel and LMCPA both are clear. Now, what is the basic difference between uh, Drussel and LMCPA? Okay. LMCPA? Beautiful, good. And uh, Drussel? I mean, one very important uh, difference, okay, is Alimsipa and Drosara both act on respiratory. But as a second year student, you should have a clarity. And what is that small clarity you need to have? Uh, Alimsipa is more of uh, upper respiratory and Drosara is more of uh, lower respiratory. Okay. And Drosara, we also spoke of cough. And we, you also saw cough in Alimsipa. And when I did Drasara, I tried to differentiate between uh, the cough, between these two remedies. In Drasara, what is the character of cough? Continuous, spasmodic, woofing cough, good. Deep, holds the chest well coughing, good. Huh? Continuous cough, good, okay. Continuous, spasmodic. Uh, when is it more in Drasara? Night. And, uh, how is it typically mentioned in our books? As soon as the head touches the pillow. As soon as the head touches the pillow, there is cough. Okay. And you saw a lot of things while coughing. Or because of cough, they might have uh, uh, nose bleed. Okay. They might have uh, they are bleeding from the gums. Good. And there can also be vomiting. Okay. And in LMCPA, what we saw is, uh, though it is an upper respiratory tract remedy, you also have cough. In Drasara, the target organ was mainly the pharynx, sorry, the larynx and the lower dog. In LMCPA, you have more of uh, larynx getting affected. So what do you see a patient in LMCPA doing when he is coughing? He holds the throat, throat, not chest. He holds the throat, throat, good, okay. So hope for this difference, there is some clarity. Okay. See, because what happens, uh, two small remedies we have started and as we start increasing the remedies, okay, slowly the question of confusion will start coming up. So, these remedies, small remedies, if you understand better, in future there will be no scope for confusion. That is what I want to highlight. Okay. See, today we will start with a brand new remedy. Uh, yeah. I mean, Alim Sipa and Dosser are both clear. No issues. Any area you want me to focus, should I repeat something? Any questions, small queries? All clear. I am happy to see boys nodding their head. All clear. Good. All clear? I will start with the remedy. Okay. See now post lunch session, post lunch class, we will have a small uh, hypothetical situation which will be a reality in a short period. Okay. As a second year student, what do you feel? Are the surgical cases? I'll again frame this question. What I'm trying to ask you is, what are all those cases which require surgery? And many times, after three years, when you start your clinic, you'll be getting many patients coming to you. Sir, I went to the surgeon. Surgeon told, this needs to be operated. Can you do something in homeopathy? Can you do something in homeopathy, the girl behind? Yeah, yeah. Can you do something in homeopathy is the question. Now she knows about whom I am talking. And she knows why I have called her name. Huh? You understood the question? What is the question? Okay. So what could be the probable surgical conditions that, that can be treated or at least named to uh, surgical conditions? Huh? Tumors. Very good, she has gone to a very high thing. Tumors, good. So, so, so. Huh? Appendicitis, good. Very close veins, okay. What is it? Gallstones. Very good, good. Gallstones. Huh? Okay, I mean, there are two big things. We are talking about small things. What can, what can come? Okay, tonsillitis, good, very good. Hemorrhoids. Somebody rightly says hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. Calculi, renal calculi, uterine fibroid, 
good. Polycystic ovarian disease. And one of your friend rightly says it could be some tumors. Okay. Huh? Yeah, uh, I mean uh, issues with kidneys. Okay, these are all common surgical conditions. Okay. See, when you look, look at the anorectal uh, uh, you know, system, for example, you spoke of uh, hemorrhoids. And many times there are people coming to us with fissures. And there are people who also come to us with, with fistula. Okay. So what I want you to understand here is, when you have patients coming to a clinic for hemorrhoids, uh, fissures, fistula, one remedy that tops the list, at least at present, lot of teachers will add lot of remedies, okay? And uh, we saw remedies acting on the respiratory tract in the last two classes. Today the focus is slightly, uh, you know, it's a, it's a little uh, deviated. We are talking of a remedy which predominantly has affection on the, uh, uh, you know, the anus or the rectum, not anus, the rectum, okay? So we look at those remedies which predominantly act on the rectum. What other remedies are over for you, apart from allium sip and tosara? Yathusa, good. Arnica, good, very good. See, Yathusa and Arnica have something to do with these remedies that we are going to discuss today. Now, in Yathusa, what do you see in the, uh, uh, I mean, in the rectum, in the lower bowel, what is the action of Yathusa? Ah, very good. It causes? It causes diarrhea, diarrhea. A very good remedy for cholera. And what is cholera? Okay, for a second year student, because you will also be studying bacteriology. Okay, so there will be tap which will be open in the both ends. Meaning there will be vomiting and there will be also diarrhea. diarrhea. So it is a beautiful remedy for uh, cholera. Okay, now what do you, you see in the, uh, or what are all the rectal symptoms of arnica? Arnica, what is the rectal symptom? You have a, you have a characteristic uh, symptom in Arnica. Okay, there is streak, uh, streak of blood, more than streak of blood. What do you see in Arnica? Arnica is done or just started? Just finished, very good, okay. So just finished means? Not yet finished. Okay, so rectal part is remaining. What question you have asked? <laughs> that part is remaining, the rest of Arnica is over. Nice answer, good. I appreciate it. Okay. So, sir, the only rectal part is remaining, sir. Good, good, very good. So, see, Arnica is something very characteristic. Okay, I mean, it would have been told under the characteristic symptoms, Arnica stool will be like ribbon. Heard of it? Arnica stool will be like ribbon. See, ribbon means you can't expect it typically like ribbon. Fine? White ribbon, black ribbon. You will not see typically like ribbon, but what is it that you need to understand is the stools in Arnica will be flat. The stools in Arnica will be flat. Okay? Now, why is it flat is what you need to take it as an assignment and let me know in the next class. Okay? The stools in Arnica will be flat. Flat like ribbon. Flat like ribbon is how it is mentioned in your material medica. Okay. So what I quickly want you to understand is, I'll be talking to you or I'm going to introduce a remedy which is predominantly having an affection on the J, 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 gastrointestinal tract, GIT. Okay, fine. So this remedy is allosocatrina. Fine? Allosocatrina, very commonly used remedy in homeopathy. Okay. And I also, or I already gave you a clue, this remedy has main affinity for the GIT. More than GIT, it has main affinity for the lower bowel. We look at it, what exactly it is. Okay, so this is how it is. And you would have seen this in your uh, pharmacy classes, the image. You know aloe vera, you know, you would have heard of it. This is aloe socatrina, okay. Now, this is one of the oldest one of the oldest and most famous remedy it is used worldwide as a purgative now what is a purgative simple english what do you understand by purgative purgative means 
any substance which increases uh, the bowel movements. Okay, any substance which increases the bowel movements. Meaning, purgative means any substance which can cause loose stools. Okay, so aloe, aloe was used as a purgative and form a leading ingredient in large number of uh, patent medicines for regulating the bowel. It's a simple, don't go with the PPT, don't go with the text. What I want you to understand is, before aloes was introduced into homeopathy, aloes was used as a medicine. You are getting my point? Aloes was used as a medicine by the old medical uh, system and it was used as a purgative. Okay, purgative means any substance which increases the bowel movement or in brackets you can put loose tools. Okay. So somebody who goes to constipation to a doctor and if that doctor is giving a medicine, it is told that that medicine will have a little amount of aloe. Okay. It will have a little amount of aloe. Okay. So this was the use of uh, aloe before it was proved homeopathically. Done? All clear? Simple, we have just started. Okay. We will go ahead and we will just look at the preparation. A tincture is made from the fiery red gum of the plant and by trituration. So preparation is by trituration and the part we use is the fiery red gum of the plant. Okay. And uh, what is this? What is this? Habitat. Habitat. Where do you see aloe growing? Where do you see aloe growing? Okay, I have just given you the India, East India, Southern and Eastern Africa. These are the countries where you see aloe growing. See, this is not very important. I have to tell, I am telling. Okay. Families Lilius here. This can be important. And uh, it was proved by Dr. Helbig. Few lecturers might ask you in your viva who proved aloe socatrina. So Helbig in the year 1833 proved aloe socatrina. This is just the basic information of aloe socatrina. Now important. Yeah, I mean this is just the source. To which source do you think aloe will belong to? When I say sources, what do you understand? Is it plant? Is it? What is this? Very good. No soul. What is this? Mineral? Importability. No, no, no. There's a word. He said no soul. What is this? From healthy. From healthy product. Hardcore. And this is? Spider man. Animal. Okay, animal source. Animal source. Okay. So, aloes belongs to plant kingdom. Plant kingdom. Good. Now, very important for you is sphere of action. Sphere of action. Drasara had its own action. Okay. Its own predominant action. Allium sipa had its own action. Now, we just try to understand where exactly you see aloe acting. Okay. And I gave you a clue already. Aloe has an affinity mainly for the JT. JT. And if you want me to be more specific, it mainly acts, yeah, the sphere of action, it mainly acts on the liver. It mainly acts on the liver. Very important remedy acting on the liver. See, as many more remedies will be added in second year, you will slowly make a small list of your own. You know, when there are remedies acting on liver, so in that small list, one remedy will be your aloe. There are better remedies. You have uh, Naxformica, Chelidonium, Sulphur. I am telling you all this because these remedies are not, not yet told to you. But they are all there in your second year syllabus and it will be slowly dealt with. Okay. So a remedy acting on the liver, what exactly does acting on liver? Okay. From the knowledge of your anatomy, physiology, and now that you are in pathology, you have to start looking at this particular component, sphere of action. So acting on the liver, it causes congestion and it increases biliary secretion. Okay? Fine? And then, now this is the very important area. What is this? Large intestines. intestines. Large intestine. Okay. Now what exactly this particular remedy does? I gave you a clue. Allopathic friends were using this as a purgative. So what is it that you understand? 
that yes it increases the bowel movement how is it increasing the bowel movement it is acting on the peristaltic movement or it is increasing the peristaltic movement and it is causing it is causing diarrhea it is causing diarrhea okay so the muscular coat of the intestines it affects it causes uh, increased peristalsis and it causes diarrhea okay any confusion here hmm? so what is the heading that we are looking at spear affection spear affection good and spear affection we looked at the liver and acting on liver it is causing congestion okay and it also acts on the intestines mainly the large intestines and it, it is increasing the peristaltic movement movement okay so now very important for you is this from your anatomy what is it that i am trying to tell you here ha huh? okay anything else that you can think of beautiful who was there somebody said something somebody said portal vein portal vein i heard one voice telling portal vein so allo is a remedy which affects the portal vein portal vein and it causes portal congestion okay portal congestion as a secondary student pathology student a small assignment for you go back home and read what happens when there is portal congestion hmm? we will be linking pathology with uh, materia medica and it will be interesting okay so portal congestion and uh, you also see this acting on the skin and it causes eruptions rashes eruptions okay eczema eruptions rashes and this should have come a little uh, earlier and uh, i told you intestines i am again looking at a specific area and this area is the rectum rectum and what you also see is this remedy affects the sphincter what is the function of the sphincter it will help in constriction and relaxation good so you will see a little bit later that this is a remedy which causes weakness of the sphincter now try to understand you told me the function of sphincter is to control meaning like you know, for example you want to pass urine yeah it, you can pass otherwise the sphincter will close fine there is something called a sphincter ena okay which will help you hold this tool okay then so what is happening here is the ligaments of the rectum and the sphincter they become very weak so what generally happens in allos is 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 he will have what happens okay so what happens when there is weakness of the ligaments so the control or stool may be lost okay so there can be involuntary stools i'll explain a little later but i want you to understand why involuntary stools will occur in allo okay hmm? so before i take up the next uh, topic spear affection where do you see allo acting liver very good good agreed liver intestine specifically large intestine then portal vein good it is there skin skin eczema on skin and the last area we spoke was rectum rectum and there again i have specified it. it could be in general on the rectum see if you understand if you understand portal congestion you will realize one of the important effect of portal congestion is uh, hemorrhage okay fine it will cause dilatation of the veins rectal veins esophageal veins so you see hemorrhage coming up in uh, allo and you also see the ligaments of the rectum or sphincter becoming very weak okay now we'll quickly move to the next part see in alimsipa and in drosera i did not discuss this component now what i am trying to tell you is or what you are trying to see in the ppt here is he, here is this patient this patient is not able to tolerate cold okay we have patients come into our clinic fine doctor sir uh, uh, fan bank karo ac i mean ac you i mean switch off whatever 
So what is very important is these patients they cannot tolerate cold. They have to be warm. Okay. So people who cannot tolerate cold and they need covering in homeopathy they are called as chilly patients. Very good. In homeopathy they are called as chilly patients. You will have exactly opposite. Who are those opposite people? Like for example, I mean, okay. So who gets, who can't go out in sun? If they go out under sun, they have a lot of issues. They cannot bear it. And they are the people who always want fan, AC. Okay, fine. They are not like covering. So these patients are called hot patients. Okay, they are called hot patients. Right? Aloe is a hot patient. What is it? Aloe is a hot patient. Hmm? Now this is what we call it as thermos. So in thermos we have two types. One is chilly and the other one is hot. And there is something in between. We call them as ambi. Neither chilly nor hot. Okay. In aloe it is very clear they are hot patients. Clear? They are hot patients. Okay. We will go ahead. Now very important is ailments now. Hmm? Dasara, Alimsipa, Ethusa, Arnika. Four remedies done to you. They all had their own ailments. Correct? Okay. Ailments in Arnika? Ailments in Arnika. Very good. Injury. What type of injury? Bruise. Blunt injuries. See now, when you read FMT, there is a chapter, Mechanical Injuries. Fine. That is how you will be integrating FMT with Material America. All injuries, Arnica will not cure. Okay? In Arnica, it is very specific. Blunt injuries. Blow. Blunt injuries. You can think of Arnica. Good. Any other ailments in Arnica? Due to fall. Okay, tell fall. Huh? Fever. Contusions. Strain, sprain, very good. Strain, sprain. Huh? Smell of charcoal. You see, tinnitus is that an ailment? Tinnitus is what? Noise in the ear. Can noise in the ear be an ailment? Tinnitus will be a result of something. Okay. So, what are the ailments in Arnica? Good. You have told many. Very good. See, one more very important thing you have to add in Arnica is financial loss. Don't forget this. Okay? Fine? See, if you start looking homeopathy in a different way, then in the initial days of our practice, we used to limit Arnica only to injuries. And now, as we have understood homeopathy more deeper, we have paralysis, we have uh, hemiplegia, we have uh, you know, cerebrovascular accident, CVA, coming after financial loss. Patient going into coma, after financial loss, Arnica. That? So financial loss is a beautiful ailment in Arnica. You need to remember that. Allium Sipa, we had plenty. Similarly, we spoke of Drasara. And of course, Ethusa is also told to you. Okay. We will quickly look at the ailments in, uh, in aloe. In aloe. What are the, the, what are the causative factors, ailments in aloe? Okay. See, quickly, if you, I mean, I'll go with images. You can start answering. Lazy. Okay. Good. Sitting. Can you use a common word here? Beautiful. Good. Sedentary lifestyle. Now, what is a sedentary lifestyle? Where there is absolutely no physical activity. We have, uh, see, this is what it is told in Proverbs. How you apply this in the present situation is very important. We have uh, software engineers, okay, we have uh, many clerical people, many admin people sitting for 8 hours, 10 hours, non-stop, okay, hardly any physical activity. They fall under sedentary habits, okay. You have better remedies in Materia Medica. Uh, somebody will be talking, Bryonia, Antimonium Crudum, Naxvamica, Sulphur, lot of remedies. Please do remember aloe, sedentary habits. Sedentary habits matla, where there will be no activity and they are sitting in a, in a specific place for a long, long period. Okay. 
not only sedentary habits, you also have uh, ailments from beer, ailments from drinking beer. Beer in aloes can give rise to indigestion. Okay? See, what I'm also trying to tell you is, any person who drinks beer and it comes to you, for him we can't blindly give aloe. If, we, if you have to give aloes, in aloes, because of beer, there will be gastritis. Or gastric complaints, indigestion, because of beer. Because of sedentary habits, what is the possible uh, complaint you can expect in aloes? Aloes, constipation, piles, hemorrhoids. It can be a very good remedy. Okay? So moving ahead, ailments from eating oysters. See, I mean, uh, I don't know, uh, seafood lovers, coastal food, people like coastal food, shellfish, okay? So we have oysters. So complaints after oysters. Hmm? Complaints from hot weather, exposure to hot weather. And in aloe, they will have diarrhea. They will have diarrhea from exposure to hot weather. See, why I am also giving you this extended symptom? Tomorrow somebody will talk to you about bryonia. Okay? Bryonia also has ailments from hot weather. But in bryonia, they will not have diarrhea. You are getting my point? In bryonia, they will not have diarrhea. In bryonia, they might have body pains. In bryonia, they might have fever. You also have anti crude where exposure to warm weather that can also give rise to more of throat affections, hoarseness of voice, that is anti -crude. So it's very important what each remedy can produce. Okay. I'll again anyway look at this last thing here, last ailment, and what is it that I've shown? You all would like to go with bananas? See, I mean, uh, the image is not clear. It is more greenish. It is more greenish. Ailments from eating unripe fruit. Okay, though it is looking more yellowish here. What I want to tell you is, ailments from eating unripe fruit. The fruit is not ripe. Must be yellow mangoes. Or must be yellow bananas. You don't have the patience for the banana to get ripened. So what you will do is, you will immediately take, you will eat. It's, it's not a ripe. And in the bargain, you will end up with diarrhea you will end up with diarrhea. One remedy you can think of is aloes. Okay? One remedy you can think of is aloes. Okay? Two small things we spoke. In your introduction for a second year student may not be all that important. We spoke of the soils, who proved, where it grows, what is the park use, preparation. Fine, it's important. Okay, but practice what is very important is spare of action. Because from the sphere of action, we will be building up the materia medica of aloe. From the ailments, we will be building up the materia medica of aloes. And this materia medica, you will be using in future. So it is very, very important. Hmm? These, these things are what we call it as masmo. You know, my teacher would say, there is something called as nice to know, desirable to know and must know. So that information I gave you about aloes, it's a purgative, all that is nice to know. Even if you don't remember, it will not have an impact. But sphere of action ailments, they are very important. They are very, very important. Okay? Any, any quick uh, clarification? Boys, girls? We'll go ahead. You are following? Okay. Now if it is clear, I will not waste time. We will quickly look at the characteristic symptoms. Again, I will be repeating the same thing. The four remedies done to you, they had their own characteristic symptoms. And by now, you should be very clear by what we mean by characteristic symptom. What is a characteristic symptom? A symptom which is very good, peculiar, uncommon, good, nice word, peculiar, uncommon, rare. Okay? Peculiar, uncommon, rare uh, can be a characteristic symptom. So, out of so many symptoms, aloes produced during fever 
what are those symptoms which are very very characteristic okay the first case i mean the first sorry the first symptom what we have here is what was the action of aloes on the sprinter it loosens. it loosens okay so what happens in aloes if you read allen or if you read any good book in bold letters they are given want of confidence i'll go slow what is it want of confidence over sphincter ani please understand and students have understood this tell me what exactly understood by this statement if you want i'll repeat the statement again what is the statement want of confidence want of confidence over sphincter ani meaning 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 this is a remedy which which can act on the muscles ligaments of the sphincter ani and it can it can cause weakness it can cause weakness so a person you know allo person if he has to pass gas if he has to pass gas he has to pass it with lot of difficulty you know why because many times with gas stool source will escape you get in this situation so he has no confidence not on himself he has no confidence over the sphincter ani if he has to pass gas then there is this uh, anxiety and many times in allos with gas with flatus the stool source will escape because the control system would have become weak clear want of confidence over sphincter ani hmm ani sphincters are uh, relaxed loose so there is always this fear that with with gas stools will escape that that okay so we'll uh, go ahead the second characteristic symptom what do you see here apple in alum sipa ne ne what was uh, okay what is al- uh, peach got to do in alum sipa peach was very good peach was an element what did alum sipa like in eating onions here hello they love apple this is not onion apple they love apple you getting the difference in alum sipa they like raw onion this remedy allo they like more of apple they like more of apple okay as a second year student you should also remember one more remedy and that remedy is antimonium tartaricum in brackets you write it one teacher will tell you about this okay now what is this hmm yeah i mean going back to your anatomy applied anatomy the rectal veins the rectal veins are dilated okay and in allo the hemorrhoids the external hemorrhoids will look like will look like bunch of grapes you getting my point see it is a comparison it is probably you know when allo was given the rectal veins which uh, get enlarged because of the portal congestion the rectal veins they will be purple in color and they might resemble grapes they might resemble grapes don't look for grapes you know in case if they are not resembling grapes also i will be giving you some symptoms of allos based on that we can still prescribe see what you need to understand is uh, the veins i mean the external uh, hemorrhoids in allos they might give you a resemblance like uh, grapes okay don't be too into don't typically look for uh, this image you know when they are washing when they are touching they might feel some kind of a round round things sir it is i feel it is like grapes sir why right? and don't laugh where grapes will come there okay all those things don't start but you know this is how or for example when you are examining the patient look might you might just feel oh it looks like uh, grapes why right? So if at all you are lucky and if you get cases like this in future, allos can be great remedy. Hmm? Okay. At least remember. See whether you get or not a secondary. Only if you know you can relate now. Tomorrow somebody comes you examine and if they are like grapes and you don't know 
that uh, there is a remedy like aloes, then that information, I mean, will not be able to apply it properly. So understand, you never know when what will come up. Okay. So hemorrhoids, and then uh, what is this? You see in the image. Huh? What is it? You see a pattern, no? What is the pattern you see? Alternating. Very good. Many symptoms in aloes, they keep alternating. Many symptoms in aloes, they keep alternating. Now what do you understand by an alternating symptom? Huh? When one is present, the other is absent. For example, when I have headache, I will not have constipation. But when constipation comes back, headache is severe. So alternating factor. Now what is it that alternates in aloes? Headache alternates with lumbago. Understand this? When they have headache, they will not have back pain. Constipation alternates with diarrhea. Constipation alternates with diarrhea. That's sir, three days I am constipated. And next three days, tap is closed, now tap is open. Then constipation alternates with diarrhea. Okay? And uh, what is the simple understanding of your... Uh, I mean, what is your understanding looking at the image? Now morning, very good, beautiful, good. I am happy morning, he is getting up. Okay, in, in aloes, when they get up in the morning, when they get up in the morning, the immediate thing aloes has to do, each of you might have your own, uh, uh, you know, habits of doing what you want. In aloes, immediately has to rush to the stools. Immediately has to rush to the washroom. Okay, early morning diarrhea. We spoke of diarrhea and aloes, early morning diarrhea. The moment he gets up, see how beautifully told in your material America, the moment he gets up, at least this man is relaxing, he is touching, doing something. If he, if he was aloes, the moment he gets up, then he has to rush to the washroom. Diarrhea, early morning, drives him out of the bed. Meaning it is driving him out of the bed. He has to get out of the bed and he has to rush to the washroom. It's a characteristic symptom. Not everybody will have this. Don't raise your hands. Okay, but in aloes, you have this symptom. Hmm? Okay, and then, uh, what is this? Itching, good. See, itching, we have wonderful remedies in homeopathy. When we think of aloes in itching is very, very important. And again, if you read Alan, Alan says in his, uh, what is it, keynote, Itching returns every winter. You understand the English statement? Itching returns every winter. Meaning, in summer, in rainy season, there will be no itching. Itching only in winter. Daksar, sardi agaya, winter agaya, chalo, kujuli start. Okay? Hello. Okay? Itch appears every year as winter approaches. Beautifully given by Alan Kinnock. And uh, what is this image you see here? Huh? Very good, beautiful, insomnia. Yes, I didn't expect the word insomnia, but commonly, sleeplessness. Every patient who has sleeplessness has a story. Then, every patient who has sleeplessness has a story. And we homeopaths will be more interested in the story. Because based on the story, we decide the remedy. Based on the story, we decide the remedy. Okay. Now, why, why, Aloe patient will have sleeplessness. Understand? Why aloe patient will have sleeplessness is because, 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 where? Uh, okay, fine. I can't uh, expose the entire part here. Itching in the anus. Okay. See, somebody comes to you with this situation tomorrow. Doctor, me help me So, what is the next question? The homeopath ask. Capture. Daksari panche salse ya panche mene panche din. So what is the next question? I said you are. I said you are. Daksari mapo kesa bata. Bata yata ko dawai malega. Daksari ye tola ji problem hai. Kya ji problem? Kujli hota hai. So don't stop. Don't stop. What is the next question? Kaan ko hota hai? Kaan ko hota hai? Luckily, if it is Daksar, Udar hota hai. Kaan? Udar. Pichwada mein. So, somebody is trying to tell you that in the NS, he has itching. And that itching disturbs his sleep. Then the remedy is allows. 
See, I hope as a secondary student you are understanding the, the uh, you know, what, uh, what, I, what do I tell, uh, how difficult or how uh, fine this science is. See, for an allopath it might matter. I mean, allopaths might do ask, Neen nahi aarai, kap se, chalo. Ultimately what they will give? Sleeping medicine. Sleeping medicine. I'll prod something which will put them to sleep. But the challenge in homeopathy is, aapko itna sab kushna pata hai. And this is where I personally feel you are a blessed lot to study homeopathy. It's, it's something very interesting. See, not this part. Uh, itching in the NS. What is interesting, sir? No, 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 I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, sorry, it's, it's a wrong context. Wrong context, I'm giving you this example. But what you need to understand is, we go deep, we go deep in understanding, in understanding. Why? And many times patients are so happy, sir, I mean, you are coming to the point. Kisi ne ne pocha, che sir, right? At least try to understand. Okay, there are a lot of reasons. Yeah, I, I mean, you'll slowly start understanding. Sleeplessness in homeopathy, beautiful remedies, based on the cause. Somebody died, Nirku Ninayara, Udar Alas Kamne Karta. You are getting the seriousness? Sleeplessness ke liye, if you give Alas to a lady who lost her boyfriend, girlfriend, and then she's not able to sleep, she's crying, weeping, chalo Alas go. Right? Alas dena ta kya hona chahiye? Ka hona chahiye? Udar ta kya ho kis mein? Nahi, wo ladki ro rahi hai. Dr. Sahib, my boyfriend is gone, my pet is gone, I can't sleep at night, I can't sleep at night, I can't sleep at night, I can't sleep at night. So, we can give them a chance, right? No. So, this is what you need to understand and this is why every remedy that is told to you becomes important. Okay? The cause in aloes is, the cause for sleeplessness in aloes is itching in illness. That? So, very important. Okay? So, Characteristic symptoms, all clear. Anyway, in the end, I am trying to revise whatever I have told. How much more time I have? Ten minutes. Ten minutes, okay. We will look at one small thing here. The mind of Alos. Mental symptoms of Alos. In Drasara, we didn't uh, concentrate on mind. In Alan I did not talk to you about mind. Arnika has beautiful symptoms. Ethos has beautiful symptoms related to mind. Alos has few. So we'll just look at few characteristic symptoms related to mind. First thing is, what do you see from the image? Anger. Okay, anger, yeah, must be the redness is, uh, uh, what is it? It is uh, uh, making you think of anger. Basically, it's discontented. Discontented, not happy with anything. There's so many people, no? How much you got in mass? 98. Right? <laughs> uh, ne. And the person, if he is discontented, father, discontented, mother, Domar kaam hai? Domar kaam hai? And somebody's house, 70, they are celebrating Diwali on the government. So each of us are different. So, so this, uh, what is it? Discontented, not happy with anything. Ya aisa kyo hai? Ya aisa kyo hai? I mean, any damn thing you tell, they are not at all uh, contented, they are not happy. They are discontented, right? Okay. So aloes is one such remedy which can be discontented. Aloes is one such constitution who get irritated very fast, right? Irritation. Chota chota chis pe chinna, chinna. Irritation. So irritation, discontentment, and you also have uh, people who are very lazy. I don't know. The image is not very up, but anyway, a great disinclination to mental work. Alos is basically a very lazy constitution. But what was the ailment we saw? I mean, ailment, ailment. Ailment, sudden habits, fine? Okay, sudden habit might be a job, but basically Alos is a very lazy guy. Bindas, you saw the first image I showed? He was uh, watching TV with all the items on his uh, tummy, chips, uh, alcohol, whatever, everything. So everything is there. I mean, he had everything there, right? So very lazy way, okay? Lazy and uh, discontented, irritable and fearful guy. So what is Allah's afraid of? Arnika. Fear of? 
Ghost, very good. What is Arnika? Arnika, Arnika, what else? Huh? Fear of? Dark. Doctors, very good, beautiful, that's what I wanted. Good. Why fear of uh, doctors in Arnika? Arnika, okay, very good. See, one very important thing in Arnika. And what will Arnika do? What will Arnika do? 104 fever. If somebody comes to him, what will Arnika tell? Amerika Kuchnevo. Jao. You should read Kent's. You should read Kent's. This is what Dr. Kent says. High fever, whatever it is. He says, no, 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 I'm fine. I don't need you. Please go. Please, please go, go, go. Okay? Go. I don't need you. Who me is telling? Doctor. Doctor. Doctor has come for house visit. Nice way, way, chao, chale jao. Okay? Now, why is Arnika patient telling like that? Huh? Okay, see, if it is pain, do you think doctor is a pain for him? Basically in Arnika, they will not like touch. Touch, touch, touch. Am doctor what kya karenge? Jab kisi ko buka rahe, to hat pakrenge, gala pakrenge, mata pakrenge, pulse dekhenge, asphaltate karenge. Ye sab Arnika ko nahi chahi. Okay? So what will Arnika tell? Only if I am sick, you will do all these things. No. So what will Anika tell? No, I will not do anything. Right? So delusion, I am well. In spite of he being sick, he tells, I am fine. And he sends doctor away. Okay? How is it in Akonite? I will be doing Akonite a little later. You will understand the variation. Don't ever use the word confusion in material America. Every remedy is beautiful. Every remedy is different. It is only our understanding that matters. Okay? I told you, sleeplessness of aloes is only because of itching. Itching only in the aloes. Nowhere else if they're itching, we give aloes. And that patient will not sleep. If we give a wrong remedy. Okay? So, fear, like Arnika, they have fear of physicians, fear of doctors, one. And the other fear, there is fear of blood. Fear of blood, fear of doctors. Hmm? Okay? And uh, one last symptom is uh, mental activity alternates with indolence. See, indolence is laziness. Indolence is laziness. So mental activity, what did we see in the characteristic symptom? That there was alternating symptom. So mental activity alternates with laziness. Is also a symptom you have in allos. Okay? Now we will have a quick revision so that I will also get to know how much you have understood. Recall the square of action of uh, allos. J. Liver. Okay, okay, fine. Intestines. We spoke of intestines. Total men. Skin. Rectum. Five. Okay. Ailments were six. That is the next question that will come up. Mention the ailments of allos. Sedentary habits, unripe food, very good, is there? Exposure to? Okay, warm weather, warm weather, good. Exposure to sun in warm weather, hot weather. Huh? Unripe food, we, no source. Beer, beer, okay, beer. Oysters, oysters, good, oysters, okay. Now, characteristic symptom, first, Want of confidence over? See, want of confidence is a mental symptom. But what is that want of confidence you see in aloes is over the sphincter in it. Good. First. Second. Huh? Yeah, desire apple. Very good. It's going in the order. Good. Desire apple. Good. Third. External hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids looks like bunch of grapes. Not single grape. Bunch of grapes. Good. Third, fourth, alternating symptoms, alternating symptoms. Fifth, early morning diarrhea, diarrhea drives him out of the bed. Sixth, itching, good. When do you see itching? Itching, two things you have to remember. Itching at night, disturbing sleep. Or itching during winter. Good. All, all of you are okay with it? Okay. And last question, last question. Yeah, thermos of others, a question before that, hot patient. All of you are fine, hot patient. And the last thing here is, 
they call the uh, cold symptoms, they call the mental symptoms. What did you see the mental symptoms here? Discontented, very irritable, gusta jada, fear, fear of doctors, fear of blood. And it was very lazy guy, very lazy guy. And uh, we also saw that uh, they are not like any activity, mental activity. Okay? Hmm? So this is part of allos. In the next class, I will be telling you the particular symptoms of allos. We will take two classes. Okay, one hour now and one hour in the next week and we will try to conclude allos. Okay? Hmm? Any quick questions? Done. Chala, thank you. Thanks.